Empowered greetings. This is Paulette Rolla Lesnick with Fresh Perspectives and Thoughts. This week, I'd like to talk to you about the power of words. Last week, I didn't have a voice. I had to think carefully about my words because they were few and far between when they did come out of my mouth. Words, they're so powerful. They can be destructive or uplifting encouraging or discouraging. How are you using your words? This week, I challenge you to use your word in the most positive way. There is death and life in the power of the tongue. We can choose to use our words to destroy ourselves or destroy others. Or we can choose to use our words to bring life to ourselves or to others. Paulette, how are you using your words this week? That's a challenge to me. And I ask you, how will you use your, word this, your words this week? The words that we say, they, they come out of our minds, they hit the atmosphere, and they actually create our universe. We actually create our world with the words we say. How often have we said to ourselves or said out loud, I feel sick and you begin to feel sick. Oh, I feel so tired, and you're tired. Be careful of the words that comes out of your mouth. And let's take a moment to talk about the unspoken words, thoughts, more powerful. Eventually thoughts become words, but oftentimes we can say the most positive, pleasant words to others, but inside we have destructive thoughts. Thoughts are unspoken words. They will form your action. They will form your world. In fact, thoughts eventually become words, and words become action. Actions become um, your character, and your character will, will, will affect your destiny. So this week, think about your words. I want to share some powerful words um, that is so needed. I often need to say them. I try to say them as often as I as I can. Um, and I want you to take this away from this, our, our week's teaching. I'm sorry. Very short phrase. I'm sorry. I was wrong. Please forgive me. Powerful words to, to practice using. Please. Thank you. Those are words that you can begin with, begin with. So this week, as you go about your work routine, church routine, school routine, your day-to-day -day life, I encourage you to use your words in a positive manner. And if you find that your words are bringing death to your situation, death to your life, I want you to begin to speak positive words about yourself to yourself and to others. If you're in a situation that's going way haywire and not the way you want it to go, I want you to remember, I'm sorry, I was wrong. Please forgive me even if you're not. When I was younger, I remember words, I didn't care much about the words I said. If it came in my mind, it came out of my mouth. I would just spit it out without stopping to think. And I don't know if it, it, if it was with age or wisdom or just uh, my mentors helping me or my parents helping me, but sometime in life, somewhere, somehow, I realized that my words hurt people. And people, words, hurt me. Growing up, we heard this phrase, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. That is not true. Words hurt more than sticks and stones. So this week, I challenge you, how will you use your words? Use them positively, because you can bring life. You are life to yourself. So speak life to your situation, speak life to your marriage, speak life to your illnesses, speak life to your finances, speak life. Thank you for joining me. This is Paulette Rowe Alesnik with Fresh Perspectives and Thoughts. Have a great week.